Welcome back to another video of mine. Today we have the Tamashi Nations, Bandai, SH for Yards, all the names, uh, red, new red and blue suit, Spider-Man, slash uh, Final Swing, and uh, here we have Spider-Man right here, it's uh, all this um, stuff right here, uh, City Figure Through the Window, got some stuff right there, Bandai, whatever, uh, some stuff up here that's kind of like focus. That stuff, kind of a little bit dusty. Just got this today, though. Uh, here we go on this side. We get an image of the figure. That's uh, figure watch right there. All right, here's the back. Ages 15 and up down there. And Japanese stuff or China. I don't know. Uh, on this side, we got, like, this little Spider-Man right there integrated. Uh, on this side, we got Free Fall Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, now let's get into it and crack this thing open. First, SH figure arts action figure. So I'm gonna open it on camera with you guys. Uh, I don't know how this is expensive, so sorry, I don't want to mess up. Ooh, look at that. That came off. Okay. Okay, okay, first thing. Okay, let's, let's switch. Are the, the stuff that it comes with? Uh, we got webs here. I have not had webs before because this is an expensive figure. Our first fig SH figure arts and whatever. Uh, we got this head sculpt with squinty eyes. Pretty nice. You know, it's got all sculpted and paint in there and everything. I cannot get this to like. Like, look at that. Just so good. Shiny. And they're glued in there so you can't poke them out. Whoa. Okay, and it's like that for both heads. You got the normal head. And you also have the things on the inside. Yep. And you got the webs. You got the long one. It's poured into the grabbing hand. So like this one. The grabbing hand. There's a hole right there. And you kind of just like put it. Push it down. And there you go, it's in there. Let's see. Okay. Eek. Okay. And then, for like these, you kind of just like put these on and then put on the hand. But the hands, oh my god, I have such a big gripe with these. They are so hard to get on this little peg. I feel like I'm going to break them every time I try. It is really hard to do it. Oh my gosh. But yeah, we got the fisted hands, the whipping hands, uh, wall crawling hands. Yep. Uh, thwippers. And then grabbers, you know. Oh yeah, and then we got the short one. I forgot about these. It's, like, it's not as, you know, curvy or so, whatever like this. But whatever. And then you got this to pour on the back. Like, use this thing. To take out this piece and then you put this piece on it so if you have a figma stand figure art stand uh you can put that into the back but i'll just use bees in the clamp if i ever yeah i don't even have a figma stand so yeah that's the accessories i forgot to mention like the new head thing right here this weird thing and then there's like a new thing down here and then you just put it in right here and it slides in really nicely and you can hear my if you can hear my dogs yeah they won't shut up but uh yeah they just slide in like that mm -hmm. it's like a little oh okay let's look, put it back you see that saw that see like that part like that there it's whatever, but it's kind of easy to come off, but it's fine. It stays on there. It doesn't, like, fall off of me. Oh, yeah, but there's, like, so you see how there's, like, blue in there? They didn't paint it over here. It's, it's just red. I don't know if you can see it. Like, you can kind of see it, like, right there. But it goes, like, all the way on the inside. And this one's, like, blue all through and through. Okay. All right, let's get into like the the figure itself. Okay, so here's the figure and I hate these. I I just don't like how the hands, they take super they're like super hard to get on there cuz they keep moving around when you're trying to put it on. Oh my god, they're so annoying. I have such trouble with them. But besides that, the figure's good. 
It's got like a really long neck though, as you can see, and you can make him look even more tall and weird if you put him like that. So uh, try you can like move it back up there. So yeah, it's got the blue. The blue is good through and through. People complain about this not having metallic blue on it, but it, it doesn't really bother me. You know, it doesn't really bother me. It's fine. But then, like, they try to make the spider through. Like, they should have just, like, got rid of that little piece and just kept the legs. But, and then you bend it and there's that line. Just get rid of that. And then you got the China stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's get into the articulation. Okay, so we have him standing here, right? I, I, I have to mention it one more time. I hate these hands. Like, I don't hate them, but I hate having to put them on and change them because they're so dang hard to do. Okay, I got that out of the way. Okay, he'll look up using both of these joints that much. That much. Uh, he'll look... Whoa, stand up, man. Down that much. Uh, you know. His arms move to about, like, right up there. And they move down and up and in and back. Butterfly joints, awesome. Very good, actually. Like, he's got good movement. But then you got a uh, bicep swivel, double jointed. Pinless elbows, you know, it's fig figure arts, so, like, it's not gonna happen, you go side to side, up and down, whatever you want, or however you configure it, it looks weird, like that, or whatever, yeah, I just saw it earlier, or whatever, he'll bend forward, like, that much, but it looks weird at the back, he'll bend back, that far, not that far, his legs are weird, Okay, I don't care what people say about these. I love this piece. He's got those cheeks. But whatever, yeah. He'll kick up. I wish he could kick forward more. But he'll kick up to, like, right there. Uh, he'll kill, kick back. Like, kick himself. So that's crazy. Like, I don't know why people are complaining about this piece. It looks fine. Uh, legs have that cylinder thing. And it'll go, like that far you know uh you know there's this it's kind of hard to move i don't really want to break it and then double jointed knees but on this knee it's got that red in it you know and then you don't have its level or whatever you kind of have ankle pivot and then there's this stuff like at the front of the the shoe if it'll focus there you see that little lip right there that and that little plastic piece but that is like keeping it doing something i don't know it kind of it makes it do more stuff i guess makes it look better and these toes they're not flush really so it's kind of hard to get them to stand they they look flush but they're not like look if i put them down is they don't they're not, like, really all the way to the ground. So, like, go forward. But, yeah, yeah. Okay, here's my final thoughts. I think this figure is really good, and I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. It is really nice. I wish it came with a Peter Parker head, and I think these eyes are, like, a little high on both of the head sculpts. You know? My favorite one. I don't know. They're both pretty good, but the hands. Oh, my gosh. The hands keep it from being a 10. Oh my gosh. And that Peter Parker head. But those keep it from being a 10. Like. Ugh. Those hands. I don't like them. But overall it's good. You got the little spider there. See. It pops off easy sometimes. Great articulation. I love this figure. You know? Alright, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.